Hey everyone, this is Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and today we're going to be talking about the electrical system of the heart. You may encounter this topic in your anatomy and physiology class, pathophysiology class, or some class in nursing school. As a nurse, you need to know the basics of how the heart conducts electrical impulses to generate the PQRS wave that you see on EKG strips. So in this video, I'm going to go over how the electrical system works, where it's located, and hopefully give you a better understanding of how the electrical system works. In nursing school, I had a difficult time with this, but once I actually learned how it worked and look, looked at where every part of it was located in the heart, I began to grasp it. I think learning the best is actually looking at the material and visualizing it and understanding it and formulating it and making it concrete in your head. So here we go, we're gonna start. Um, first, we're gonna go over the pathways, as you see this drawing over here, and then I'm gonna compare it to what it looks like in the heart and give you some little facts that you need to remember for tests, because a lot of tests test you on um, certain questions, and I'm gonna hit the highlights of that. And then when we're done with this quiz, go to our website, registerednursern.com, and take the quiz that's called Electrical System of the Heart. You go to the homepage, click the slider, you can get to that quiz, and you can test your knowledge on the electrical system. And a lot of those questions that are on the, on the quiz, you may see on an exam in school. So let's get started. Okay, from, from this drawing, we are gonna start in the SA node. Everything starts in the SA node. That is your sinoatrial node. It will branch off into the Bachmann's bundle, then the electrical impulses are conducted down through what are called internodal pathways. These are your pathways, which sends an impulse down to your atrioventricular node, which is an AV node. The AV node sends its impulse down through what's called the bundle of his. The bundle of his branches off into two bundle branches. You have the right bundle branch, which is going to affect the right side of the heart and then you have the left bundle branch which will affect the left side of the heart. And those bundle branches branch off into what are called Purkinje fibers and this helps deliver what's called depolarization of the ventricles. Depolarization, another word, is contraction. I always got that confused in nursing school so let's go over it. Whenever it says ventricular or atrial depolarization, that means contraction of the muscle. And then you might also see atrial and ventricular repolarization. That means the muscle's resting. So it contracts and then it rests. Okay, so repolarization is resting. You can remember that by resting. It's spelled R-E-S-T-I-N-G and repolarization R-E. So remember resting and repolarization that way. Okay, so that is how the electrical system works. Now let's look over into a diagram of the heart and see where these areas are located because where they're located is where they deliver their job at. For instance, the SA node is located in your right atrium. This is your right atrium. Your SA node conducts what's called depolarization of the atriums. It causes your atriums to contract. When they contract, it goes down through the internodal pathways out electricity and hits the AV node. Your AV node is located in the intral septum area. This is between um, both of your atriums. And then it'll, it lets a delay happen. Because what happens whenever that delay happens, it allows those um, valves to close all the way and let the blood shoot through so you don't have backup of blood. So the AV node allows that delay to happen. And then when that delay happens, it sends it down through the bundle of his which will be in between your ventricles. Your bundle of his is located between your intraventricle septum, which is this area right here. So you have the AV node in this area, and then the bundle of his will go down into the intraventricle septum and branch off into your right and left bundles. And this is your right side of the heart, and that's your left side of the heart. So you have your bundles going up through there, and then your Purkinje fibers will go over the ventricular tissue and allow that contraction to happen. So that, I, sometimes I just think it's easier to see how the electrical system works and where it's actually located in your heart because each, like on a test, you're gonna be asked, what does the SA node do? What does it do? The SA node um, contracts the 
the atriums. And you would know that because the SA node is located in the right atrium. So let's just go over some facts that you would have to know about each of these conduction pathways to help you on your test. So first let's go over the SA node. Your SA node, which is called the sinoatrial node. It is located in the right atrium, which is right here. The SA node is known of, uh, to be the pacemaker of the heart. So on a test you may see, you may hear, what is the pacemaker of the heart? It's the SA node. The SA node, what it does is it causes your atrium to contract, okay? So it's responsible for atrial depolarization. Depolarization means contraction. It beats, this is also another common test question, it beats at 60 to 100 beats per minute which is a normal heart rate, okay? So that's why it's known as the pacemaker. The SA node forms your P wave, and we'll be going over this in depth in the next video I'm making, but I just wanted to touch on this because your P wave represents atrial contraction. So when you're looking at the P wave, the SA node is responsible for that because that's representing atrial contraction. Okay, now let's go over the AV node. Okay, now regarding the AV node. The AV node, also known as the atrial ventricular node, is known as the gatekeeper of the electrical conduction system. The SA node was known as the pacemaker, and the AV node is known as the gatekeeper. That's usually another test question, so you probably want to remember that. It beats at 40 to 60 beats per minute. So if the SA node fell, the AV node would take over and beat at 40 to 60 beats per minute. That's usually another test question. The test question may say, which part of the heart beats at, of the electrical system beats at 40 to 60 beats per minute? It's the AV node. The AV node allows a, con allows a delay. The delay between the SA and the AV node, because remember the AV, the SA node is contracting the atrium. When it contracts the atrium, it shoots blood down through your um, tricuspid valve into your right ventricle. And because of that delay, you want all that blood to empty completely into the ventricle because if not, you would have backflow of blood. So the AV node just is like the gatekeeper and allows the blood to completely empty from the atrium into the ventricles so you don't have um, blood just going back front to the atrium because you want all that blood to pull back into the ventricles. So that's the really the main goal of the AV keep of the AV node is to be the gatekeeper and allow the blood to completely empty into the ventricles. Now let's talk about the bundle of his and the left and bundle branches. Okay, now to the bundle of his, the left bundle and right bundle, and the Purkinje fibers. Okay, first let's talk about the bundle of his. You have the bundle of his, which is right here. It is located on in the intraventricular septum. So that just is a fancy word for in between the vent ventricles, which these are your right and left ventricles. So your bundle of his is located down in this area. Now the bundle of his, it will branch off into two bundles, the right bundle and the left bundle. So the right bundle is going to go to the right side of the heart and the left bundle is going to go to the left side of the heart. And these bundles spread out into fibers which are surrounding your, ventri your ventricle muscle tissue. So whenever that happens, you get depolarization of the ventricles. So you have the AV node who shoots electrical electricity down through the bundle of his, the left bundle branch, left and right bundles, and then the Purkinje fibers. And that causes a depolarization of the ventricles, which is causing the ventricles to contract. So when that happens, you have um, that, and then it will be formed, that forms your QRS. So when your ventricles contract, you're seeing the, you're seeing the, um, Purkinje fibers, the bundle of his, and the right and left bundles all contracting, and that's making your QRS on your EKG wave. So just like the SA node made the P wave, the contraction of the atriums, now your ventricles are contracting, and that's making your QRS. And when the Purkinje fiber, um, fibers beat, they beat at 20 to 40 beats per minute. So that's probably another thing you want to remember is when everything else fails, if the SA node failed in a patient or um, the um, AV node, the Purkinje fibers could take off. It's not going to be very good for that patient. They need some intervention, but it will beat at 20 to 40 beats per minute. And um, so just remember that that is forming your QRS. Now let's um, 
talk about the T wave. The T wave is related to your QRS because the T wave, believe it or not, those ventricles are so big, whenever they contract, which is depolarization, you're going to get relaxation because you contract and then you relax. And the T wave is whenever your ventricles are relaxing. The ventricles are so big, they cause such a big impulse that you get the T wave and it's called um, ventricle repolarization, which is just relaxing. So that's what your T wave is. That's just the basic rundown on your PQRSs that I just wanted to go over with you. But in the next video, we're gonna go in more depth. So that is the electrical system of your heart, the down and dirty of it, how it works, and what you need to know as a nurse, just the basics, and to give you some ideas of some things that you may encounter on a test. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and go to our website, remember registernursern.com, and take the quiz to see how well you grasp this material. And thank you so much for watching and have a great day.